Okay. Hi, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, or today is a sad day. It is actually Happy Single Awareness Day. So, <laughs> so I hope that you lovebirds out there are are planning such fantastic uh V day um you know for for each other <laughs> see what do I have <laughs> so now all right um I don't know so last year hello everybody again last year okay it was a different story I just got out of the hospital last year so it is a better year for me this year. It's a better Valentine's Day. Even though, as you can hear, I have difficulty, um, you know, I'm having a difficulty with my voice again. All right, but I'm not complaining at all. I am not complaining at all. Hello, Karen, how are you? Um, saludos aquí a ti también. So, um, anyway, so anyhow. Um, I'm going to show you my Valentine's hunker love. Come here, Sawyer. Sawyer, come here. Denver Jack. Denver Jack. You know, I guess. So even my dogs. <laughs> even my dogs don't pay attention to me. It is so. Anyhow. So, uh, I don't know. Um. It's, I thought that by now, you know, it's like, you know, we're going back to normal. And, and yet we are trying to now making our own normalcy, right? You know, it's, it's almost been a year since the lockdown. And it seems like even though it has, I mean, things have eased down. And thank God, you know, the cases has slowed down. But it's still, it feels like we are all living in a twilight zone. And so I'm still very careful. Uh, I mean, I have not traveled anywhere at all other than, of course, the Rhode Island in uh, October. But, uh, you know, no one is traveling uh, outside the country. No one is uh, traveling at all outside the country. And um, being here in the New York City area, it is rather upsetting. You know, it's like I keep on saying this because every time I go to the streets and I see that it's always now the residents over here are, you know, that you see in the streets. You know, it's, it's upsetting. I never thought that I would say this, but it's upsetting that you don't see the tourists anymore. I mean, it, it's it's it, it's like, you know, I keep on watching, I keep on watching these movies, uh, like uh, uh, this adventure, science, science, uh, science fiction movies, uh, action adventure uh, from Amazon. And I can't help to, uh, to compare it to what we are going through right now, because it's true. It's like, oh, my God. It is the same. It feels like I am in the movie. I mean, don't you feel that? Don't you feel that at all? It's like you, you go outside and it feels like you are in the movie. And it, it's, you know, oh, the people don't, even, you know, you don't even see them smiling at me because, of course, that cover, coverage, the coverage in, uh, on their faces. Uh, for example, yesterday, I was just walking around. I tried to get around the corner. And uh, and then after that, I drove uh, to the park. Usually, you know, you smile and you say hello to people. You know, it's... it's <laughs> and now you avoid them. You avoid them. You go as far away as possible away from people. So, um... Without realizing it, it's like, you know, it's like, uh, I do miss that. I do miss the saying hello to people. I do miss talking to people. And now we avoid as much as possible to even talk to them. And then when you talk to them, you it feels like 
they are about 50 kilometers away from you. So, yeah. So I don't know if whether you know uh, before I used to say okay I'm 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 not I'm not a people person. Uh, I never thought that I would say like I miss I actually miss my interactions with people. Um, that's Sawyer. So he's uh, he's complaining. I'm gonna show you what Sawyer is doing. So, yes, Sawyer. Just one second. Yes, Sawyer. Come on, get up. Get up, Sawyer. Come on. Yes, a happy Valentine's Day. How about you, Denver Jack? Hmm? Itchy, itchy, itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, you don't give a shit, right? Yeah, you don't. You don't give a shit, right? Yeah. You really, you really don't give a shit. <laughs> he, really, he really doesn't give a shit. And this one, this one is, is, is throwing a tantrum. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Sawyer. You gotta get up, Sawyer. I know, but you gotta get up, Sawyer. Come on, let's go. Let's go. You gotta get up, Sawyer. Yeah. Hey, you're already up. What? You're already up. On this one. No, you cannot go in and out, in and out, in and out. You can't. You just simply can't go in and out. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. So, all right. Back to me, because it's me. It's me. <laughs> it has to be me. It has to be centered around me. So here I am, back to me. Anyway, so welcome. <laughs> welcome to self-absorption. Absorption. absorption. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. So anyway, um, so as I was saying, um, so when I went to uh, Liberty State Park early yesterday morning, I usually say hello. You know, I miss saying hello to people. They have avoided me, actually, the people that I tried to say hello to. They have avoided me like the plague. I mean, I guess we are all plagues. <laughs> Even though they were covered, you know, we have all this coverage. And now you know what? It doesn't really matter anymore wearing makeup because you're going to cover your face anyway. You know, although I must admit, though, that there are there are simply other people uh, who need coverage all the time, full time. And <laughs> but anyhow, uh Thank you, Jane. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Um, <laughs> um I, I I don't know. It's like it's it, it doesn't feel like it's Valentine's Day. It's actually single awareness day today. It's sad. It's a sad day. Thank you. But it is single awareness day. So Happy Valentine's Day, Bonzu, Georgia. So, so yeah. Uh, you know what I love about Valentine's Day? The day after Valentine's Day. You know, I'm a chocoholic. I love, I love me some chocolates. So what I do, I go to the store and basically buy half a price of those chocolates. So, yeah, so that's... That's my M.O. <laughs> anyway. And, yeah, what else? So you can send me also, you can send me chocolates. I love truffles. <laughs> but since I've been taking um, uh, prednisone uh, due to elders, I have been able to... <laughs> I have been able to eat nuts. 
particularly. Uh, no, not not peanuts though. I'm still quite allergic uh, to peanuts, but uh, uh, macadamia nuts. I am absolutely obsessed with them. So I eat anything that has macadamia. So anyhow, so I'm not buying any chocolate today, but tomorrow I will be. I will be at TJ Maxx. At TJ Maxx, actually, they have such fantastic chocolates from all over the world. You know, you don't go to Walmart. And, and uh, I, I don't like the Amer I'm, I'm sorry, no offense to, no offense to the American chocolates, but your chocolate is very sugary. It really is very sugary. Unlike the chocolate. Oh, yeah, I can't eat walnuts. I mean, macadamia nuts is my favorite. So, oh, yes, I love monchery. Monchery. I can't pronounce it, George. I'm sorry. Uh, I still speak French. They they don't understand my, my French sometimes. But I can write it better than I can speak it. It is the same thing with uh, my Korean. But one thing though that I have perfected because I've been speaking it every day is my Filipino. Uh, well, it's not a Tagalog, but it's a... Uh... Hi, Alex. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day to you too. I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, I am back from the dead. <laughs> uh, yes, Belgium chocolates. Yes, of course, of course. You know, I live in Belgium for a month <laughs> for work. And uh, yeah, it was uh, near the U.S. Embassy. So um, it's, it's, it was beautiful. So anyhow, um, yeah. You know, you know what I would like when the pandemic is over and I hope that we all get to see that. I would like to throw uh, uh, like, like basically a barbecue party, like somewhere in a park. I, you know, it's a potluck party and we get together and you bring your be best dish. And I have quite a few myself, I have quite a few. So what I have been doing, I have been cooking for myself. <laughs> I have been cooking for myself, all these like very ethnic food, really ethnic food. Okay, I never thought that I would like them but you know youtube you know you can you can get a lot and everybody now is an expert though you know everyone has a youtube channel eh, really really everyone has a youtube channel everyone under joe uh, uh you know and joe schmo has uh has an expert expertise of some sort and so anyhow i'm not jealous <laughs> i do have quite a lot of expertise of nothing <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I love that song too, Georgia. I love that song too. I love I love jazz. I really love jazz. And what I miss, I used to go to. Um, well, I haven't been in a while, but I used to go to New Orleans uh, for the jazz over there. And um, um, Oh, Win Winton Marsalis. I, I liked them. Uh, oh, my goodness. Now, it's just bringing, bringing back memories, whether it's bad or not. Sometimes it's bad. But, you know, you can't fo live forward. You can't live forward without the past, right? So, um, I've been trying to... I have been trying to really uh, try to 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 take the positive uh, out of this, out of my um, uh, what do you call this imprisonment? Not really imprisonment. No, I'm not gonna call that because long before you went lockdown, I was in lockdown. I couldn't go out at all. I couldn't even travel anywhere because uh, uh, my immune. Um, uh, system was it still is very weak. However, I have taken the vaccine. I've take, taken the vaccine. I get really sick, 
But other than that, you know, I'm here, voila, here you go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, anyhow, I'll show you my, my forest, my rainforest of home. And there you go, my boho type of a home. Boho Victorian type of a home. There you go. So I painted, I painted the staircase, I mean, the uh, this wall. So uh, I was really t tired of looking at uh, the, the yellow paint. And I said, I needed something to pop it. So I painted that blue. And I want to paint again. Uh, in my office, actually, I turned it. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And in my office, I turned it into this boho, Victorian or uh, ethnic uh, type. It's more like very, very eclectic. And then I decided, I said, you know, I have not painted in in nearly five years. Um, first of all, it's like now, it's like my hands, my fingers. I can't feel. Um, I can't feel my fingers, my fingertips sometimes, but you know what? I still have my fingers. I have my hands, so I'm going to start painting again. I'm going to start painting again. And did I tell you? <laughs> yes. My office is Remington's apartment. <laughs> I do. I do like steampunk also, Georgia, you know. I mean, I like... Uh, um. I actually like Sid Vicious. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, 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 my, my taste in music is very eclectic. But I do prefer opera, though. I do. Hi, Bob. How are you? So, so today is like, you know, it's like yesterday I woke up. Just, so uh, you know, I wanted to just go for a drive. I woke up. I didn't even I didn't even wash my face. I went, and but today it's like I decided to say, you know what? I'm going to put filter. I'm going to put the filter, my my natural filter today. Thank you. And I'm just gonna do it. You know, I may not be going anywhere, but I'm just gonna do it. And uh, sometimes, like you know, my mom like would ask you, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the kitchen, mom. <laughs> So, you know, because I remember when Nana used to live with me. I mean, she lived with me for about a year. She used to just put on the whole garb, put whole jewelry and fix herself, even though she was always at home. And even though she did not go anywhere. And she said, yeah, she told me, it's like, you know, you don't have to make yourself beautiful for anybody. You do it for yourself. And yeah, so I said, I saw, I, that's what I did. Uh, that's what I did. My 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 nana is like it's like that. You know she she would put on the entire jewelry wardrobe. I mean, like she would feel she would feel her whole, her whole arms with with her jewelry and all the fingers with the rings, and she would put on gown not really gown but like you know as if she was going to a cocktail party, and um, that's what she would do. And I, I don't know, in, in, in retrospect now, I say, you know what, that's not so bad at all. I mean, it's like, even if you don't go anywhere, you know, have that practice. <clears throat> oh, oh, that's fantastic, Georgia. I did not realize that. Um, well, my dogs, they always have Valentine's. You know, Sawyer, know, uh, Sawyer knows how to work. How to work his charm so he gets everything. So anyway, so, yeah, so but going back to my Nana, like, she would just, like, put all the whole garb. As I would come home from work, and she's this, like, all made up. And, <laughs> and, she, would tell me, and she would tell me, I said, you don't have to go anywhere. To fix yourself you do it for yourself you don't have 
You know, because first of all, it is it's you who's going to see yourself first. So it's you, so do it for yourself. You don't do it for anyone else. So that's why today I'm in here I am. And this out of like your happiness, you know, you don't have your happiness does not start with people. In order to be happy, you have to be happy with yourself. Oh yeah, she is. That's what she's doing. So like, um, I don't know, I'm having all these, um, anyhow, so I'm having all these like thoughts about that. And, uh, and because like the past few days I have been like really down and then, uh, come to think of it, you know, it is us, it is us actually who make our life, not others, not others. It is us. And it, it's like, no matter how much struggle you go through and then you're still, and you look around and you're still, you know, you still have life. You, have, you still have this. You, you have give, been given a lot of chances. So with that, <laughs> with that, that's why, you know, you can't, and then you can't blame others for your imperfection. So, Alex Lowland or Steve Mac... Uh, oh, 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 I don't watch those. Yeah. <laughs> I dated no one but, uh, but European guys when I was in Europe. Yeah. So, um... I don't know. Okay, let's put it this way. Um, this is not a stereo. I'm not trying to stereotype any anyone, anybody. It is only my own experience. I just, I just feel like European men are a little bit dramatic. They're very, very dramatic. Very, very sensitive. I mean, like, yeah, my my ex-boyfriend is uh, Italian. Uh, but like I said, I'm just very dramatic. I don't know. It's, uh, let's see. I don't want to say, to say the wrong word. <laughs> I really don't want to say the wrong word. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say it. Uh, they're just... I'm very, very strong-willed, very um, independent, and uh, um, one thing, <laughs> one thing I like is, um, uh, in other words, I was always the driver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Yeah, um, I was I was always the driver, so always in charge, and uh, you know every now and then uh, there is a part of me that okay, why don't you take charge? Even at the end, it would say okay, it would it would be my decision. <laughs> It's um, it's hard. It it really is hard to um, to explain it, but uh, um, I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm not. Uh, I'm not set on my own ways, but uh, um, I can't date. Um. Mm. <laughs> If I can't discuss, if I, let's say, if I pull out something, you know, out of a heart and I start discussing you and, and from the, out of the heart, you know, I'm discussing with you uh, about a character in the medieval period and you don't know who that was or who it is. I mean, it's like, it's guaranteed you're not in, <laughs> you're not in my league. <laughs> I get bored easily. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I really, I really get bored easily. And, uh, I don't know, I, I don't like, oh, I, I just feel like, um, I just feel like I have always been the one, um, uh, in charge. So, uh, I, I don't know whether it's European man or not, but I just don't like, I don't like drama. You know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm complicated, but simple at the same time. Um, I easily, uh, go along, uh, but by the same token, it's like, don't bore me because I'll, I'll beat your arse. <laughs> so anyway, so <clears throat> I noticed something, there's something here. That's something disgusting I saw. Chocolate covered cucumber. Oh. So anyhow. <laughs> yes, chocolate covered um cucumber. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Okay. The only thing that I like about my cucumber is basically when it's covered, it has to be covered with vinegar in, it's either vinegar, a little bit of vinegar or, or olive oil. But chocolate covered cucumber, I saw this uh, from YouTube. I think that's disgusting. Okay. Anyway, there are so many disgusting, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to offend uh, some ethnic group perhaps with this uh but what the fuck is going on with asian women and their eating the mukbang i'm gonna talk about that again what is it about the fascination of gluttony i don't know if you have seen it it's like you know they're stuffing their face their faces with so much food with so much food, and particularly, I mean, I know that it's it's a cultural thing to eat this um, wormy, um, you know, and I like octopus. I like octopus. I do eat octopus, but I don't have to eat it. That's big, all these tentacles and stuffing in your, uh, yourself with this huge, huge, anyway. I just don't understand that. I just don't understand the culture of watching somebody stuffing themselves, you know, with fat, with so much fat, big fat, just everything. You know, it's like, it's almost as if like, you know, and then they have the followers of about three or four million people just watching them stuff themselves. And then there's one also, um, well, I'm guilty, I'm guilty too. Of watching it because look like, you know if I didn't watch it I wouldn't be discussing it with you uh, I I have tasted frog frog legs I've tasted frog legs and I like it it's uh, but I didn't know it, they were frog legs because they remove it from you know, from um, the bones the bones but I do love um, I do love uh, uh, Iscario. Am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> snails. <laughs> I love snails. Scargo. <laughs> I love snails. Um, I actually love snails. So I do eat that. Frog, I don't. Um, I've only eaten it once. And I will never eat it again. Yes, yeah, cargo. So, um... Uh oh, somebody just throw. Okay. So we have, that's Denver Jack looking at the monitor because we have, um, I don't think she's looking at the monitor. He just heard it. You know, we have a delivery. Thank you so much for sending the babies. 
cookies and uh, their food. Thank you all very much. But anyway, no, Barb, you know, um, Scargo is really, really good. So, particularly if the French like the French dish, they uh, prepare it. I, I do like it. I, I like Scargo. I don't like frog. Um, I actually don't like frog. I hate frog. Um, there are some culture around the world. Oh yes, it's it's absolutely be, um, um, delicious with garlic. This cargo with garlic, yeah, it's really really delicious. Mm. But anyway, there are other cultures, particular in the Far East. So they they eat crickets. Yeah. Um, they do. Um, I can say that I have never tried it. I had never been adventurous. I was never really adventurous. Uh, I don't even like, I don't even like, um, what is that fish? Oh God, what is that? Uh, catfish. I don't even like it. I don't even like the snakehead fish. I don't like it. So, um, yeah, there are so many uh, things that I just don't like. I don't like any things. Yeah, um, you know, it's like it's culture. Um, I remember um, go. I remember in one of my travels um, uh, in China, and uh, I was in this very remote uh, area of China. I think it was outside Shanghai. I don't remember. I can't pronounce, but it's outside Shanghai. It's about. 100 kilometers uh, north, I believe it's northeast of Shanghai. I was in this village. And first of all, um, and I tell you, first of all, just like in the French countryside, you know, the toilets, they have the hole. You know, it's like you squat and they have the hole. So it's the same thing in China. They have the hole, the toilets, you know, they don't have the flush, you know, there's a hole in the ground and you go there. All right, so that's besides the story. So um, they were prepared. They, I don't, you know, even then I didn't really eat meat, so, but I could eat, I mean, I do eat chicken. The first time that I have seen that even the chicken head and also uh, of the, the feet and everything is mixed into the chicken soup. I freaked out because I can't really stand that. I can't stand anything. I really don't like, I mean, when I eat chicken, I don't like to associate it that it's used to be alive. <laughs> That's why when I go to a seafood restaurant, when I go to the seafood restaurant, you know, I don't like the tongs. I don't like where they have all the fish, like in the fish tanks. And also they have, you know, it's where you, you, they have the lobster there. My first, my first thought when I see these, my first thought is to free them and bring them back to the ocean. I can't go, you know, where you can just like pick the food, or pick the fish there. And, 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 and you cook it because they used to be alive. I can't do it. Unfortunately, okay. I mean, it's cool too, too. Unfortunately, it's like in Hong Kong, you know, they like everything fresh. So I think, you know, I, I can share some of my photos. We're going to go into the fish market. The, in, in Hong Kong, uh, the fish market there, the fish are actually alive. They are in tanks. Uh, lobster, uh, crabs, they are alive. They are in tanks. So you go to the fish market, you pick your fish, and then you bring it to a restaurant, and then they cook it for you. Okay, they cook it for you. Although I love seafood, I do love seafood. I mean, um, and, and vegetable. I had, 
I can't really associate my food, okay, to a living thing. I know it's psychosomatic. It really is psychosomatic, but I can't associate it that it used to be alive. Like for example, okay, if I lived in a farm, and my the 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 um the cows are running around, I can't associate that that they're food. I can't see them as food. When I used to have a fish tank in my house, I didn't eat fish. I didn't eat fish because I saw them alive and I was taking care of my fish. That's why I didn't eat fish. So, <laughs> I, 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 it's very difficult. I, I don't know. It's like, and you know what? I spent a lot of time in the third world, and uh, going to the farms. I, I mean, you know, I have experienced things that most of you, American people. <laughs> Have that experience. I mean, I lived in the third world. When I was doing my my study about poverty, I was all over the world, and I have seen it. But I tell you, I I just I, I just did not develop. I know that it's a culture. You go there, okay. You go to to the rice field, catch uh of a uh, crab. That's still、uh, moving. I mean, that's moving. Catch fish, you know they're alive, and then you bring home, you kill them, and then you 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 cook them, you know, fresh. So, <laughs> I I mean, I don't know. So it, it was. It's it, it's a thank goodness for supermarket. <laughs> I will tell you though, thank goodness for supermarket because if it was not for, if it was not for a supermarket, or if weren't for supermarkets, I would probably not eat. So, anyhow, yeah, because I I I just I just can't handle it. I I can't handle. I can't associate my food to a living thing. Um, because like. You know, we had chicken, but we only—I only remember eating the eggs. We did not eat the chicken. Um, yeah. And most of the food that I ate, basically vegetables, lots of vegetables. So I, I ate. We ate a lot of vegetables and the fish. Although we ate a lot of fish, I did not see them alive. <laughs> So, <laughs> anyhow, so yeah, I can't live in a farm and、uh, um eat my chicken or eat my or eat the cow or eat the goats. I I can't do it. So I'll tell you a story. It was、uh, about sixteen years ago. I went to the Philippines, and my friends can vouch. <laughs> so. In this town, they have a delicacy, you know, goats, goats, goats meat, is a delicacy. I told, I tell you though, I spend, <laughs> I spend my money buying the goats, and you know, so that I could bring them back to the farm, my family's farm, so they were so that they could not be eaten. So I bought them. I'm sure that when I left, they probably ate them. Of course. <laughs> Yeah. So no, it's um. I'm very weak when it comes to that. I just can't handle it. I really can't handle it. It's just um. I just have difficulty. So. Oh God! Oh, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that, and in Greece, okay. So they, um, they roasted a whole lamb, and I cried. <laughs> I, 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 I cried, <laughs> and、uh, you know the culture where they roast a whole pig. 
I mean, I got, I have gotten used to it, but I no, I accepted it. I accepted it, but I still can't um, get used to it. So, uh, you know, I'm so glad that uh, that Nana used to tell us, used to tell us that we're too poor to eat meat. You know, I, I without realizing that we have goats and we had, we had ducks and we had uh, we had chicken in the farm. But she used to tell us that um, we are too poor to eat meat. And but in but in reality, you know, it's like she just did not want. You know, she she did not. She taught us not to eat uh, the farm animals because they were our loved ones. So um, yeah, so to this day, so you know, no, Nana doesn't eat meat. You know, Mama Sita doesn't eat meat. As a matter of fact, yeah, I think it's not even. I cannot eat duck. I I just can't. Oh yeah. So what about duck, uh, duck confit, duck confit, Georgia, duck confit, duck confit is prepared in a such a way that when you eat the duck, it's very very tender. It melts in your mouth. I think it's uh, it's cooked for about three days. <laughs> yeah, duck confit, and. Uh, uh, there is a restaurant. Um, it's of. I'm trying to remember. I'm actually trying to remember because I, uh, I in the south of France. It was so. Um. They told me that it was chicken, <laughs> but it was actually duck confit, and it's really delicious. I think I don't know how to make it, but I think it was cooked. It's cooked for a long time. You know, it, it takes a lot of uh, preparation, long, long preparation actually to to prepare the dock in order to, uh, to to be that way, like very, very tender. So that was my first time eating dock. I don't go much to uh, uh to. Uh, to the um, Chinatown because of those ducks hanging with their heads still intact, you know, roasted duck. I can't do that. Yeah, so, and yeah, duck confit is very expensive because the way it's prepared, you know, like I think it's like three days, it takes three days to prepare it and 12 hours to cook it. So it's basically cooked in, the, in its own fat. And it's so, it is so, um, it's so tender. I only, yeah, I only ate it once. I've only tried it once. And I was told that, like I said, you know, they're chicken. So I don't, I only buy now uh, meat for my dogs. Um, I don't usually eat them. I still eat chicken. That's all I eat. Uh, that's the only meat I would eat uh, for now. I just can't. I, I have. I don't have a. Res I mean, I don't have a positive response. You know, physically, you know, my stomach just doesn't like. Um, just doesn't like um, meat. So. Um, I'm told to, I, I need my protein. So I think I've, you know, mostly though. When I cook, you know, you you got up. Um, there is um meat that's vegetable based, like the one that I have right now. It's like I have um, <laughs> yeah. Girls usually they like food. At, um, the golden retriever girls because Morgan is like that too. The duck. Well, you know, uh, uh Bob. <laughs> the duck is yeah they are very greasy because they're covered with they're covered with fat and their meat their actual meat actually is very it, it's it's really really hard so uh this recipe that's called duck confit it is actually uh, the the meat of the uh, of the duck is cooked in its own fat and when you 
you know, you slice it, it's so tender, like it really falls, falls off your mouth. And, and it's, so that was the only time that I have eaten it. And, um, and I, I, I can't eat it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot smarter now. Like I, I, I remember being offered to eat rabbit meat and 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 they say it tastes like chicken so i said i'll have the chicken instead <laughs> i can't i can't i can't eat rabbits i i just can't eat it you know i'll have <laughs> i'll have the chicken instead you know and then of course um in one of those uh documentary that I watch, you know, the way they raise chicken. And I'm feeling guilty just even eating it. I don't know. It's like we're just fucked up. You know, humans are just fucked up. We just can't let things be, right, normally. But it, because everything revolves. Everything revolves around money. Every, you know. Oh, a barb, you know, the... Oh, you know what? It it doesn't matter. You know, like vets sometimes, you know, they say my my dogs they they live such they're very active, you know, they play with each other. I, I don't try to give them diets. As a matter of fact, they don't like food. You know, their food, you know, I could I could cook their food and they, they just snob it, you know, they just they don't eat it right away. And um I don't know. I don't know why we try to impose our diet on, on on dogs. That's the only happiness that they have. You know, you neuter them, you remove their ability to have sex. They live like ten years the max. Uh, they're lucky if they have if they reach to sixteen or twenty years. Very very rare. And yet, you know, vets are saying, oh, "Okay, you can't do this. You can't do that." I will tell you though. I don't buy anything for me that my dogs can't eat. Everything that I buy, including snacks, I make sure that they can eat it too. And so, so I don't, you know, when, when a vet is like, oh, you have to do that. It's like, you know, that's, um, it's the same thing with neutering. It's the same thing with, with, uh, spaying. You know, we do this, okay, you know, yeah, to, to stop, um, this is to prevent um, from them, like, procreating, right? You don't want puppies, you don't want them. I'm not saying that, okay, you just let them go. Oh, uh, you know, because they're not neutered, they, or they're not spayed, you know, they're going to to die early from cancer. I tell you. Scouts and Hurley, they were neutered. Brownie Bean was neutered. And I tell you, and Sydney, she ate nothing but people's food and she lived to 16 years. Okay, she was 16 years old since, since, um, um, you know, when she died. But anyhow, so I tell you, I mean, I watch my dogs like a hawk. I watch them. You know, they don't touch, you know, I, I put butts, knock on words, or whatever you believe. Neither one. Remington, who's neutered, is more aggressive than than both Denver Jack and, 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 and Sawyer. They're not at all, you know what to say, oh my goodness, you know, they're aggressive, they're like the Denver Jack and Sawyer, they're the most docile, very sweet or sweet um natured dogs in comparison to um to Denver, I mean to Remington, who is neutered. And then Scout died at a very early age. You know, he he was neutered. It's the same thing with Hurley. 
from the cancer, both cancer. So, anyway, so right now, I don't know. It's like, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to believe because both of my dogs right now, they have, uh, your Sawyer is very healthy. She's very, very healthy. They're not running around and trying to, to hump, to hump uh, Morgan, not at all. You know, they don't do that. Even when Morgan is in heat, you know, I put Morgan in her, you know, in her, um, uh, she has her underwear and we watch her really, really carefully and we separate her. But they, they, when I mean they are Denver and, and Sawyer, don't go after her at all. So, yeah. So I I don't think I don't think really that um neutering and spaying is associated to uh preventing cancer. I don't know. I, I, I think it's the environment. I think it's the environment. It's the same with me. I mean it's like None of my family, none in my history at all has any cancer. I eat healthy. I exercise. I did everything I could, you know, to, uh, so that's, I mean, to stay healthy and look at me. And yet Nana smoked until she was 67 years old. No filter. And yet look at her. She's, had, she's, she's 100 years old and has never been in the hospital. She only go, go to the hospital for, for checkup. So, anyhow. Yeah, so anyhow. Well, I like the law in, in France because our, our dogs are, are, um, are considered human. And, you know, if you hurt them, you know, you get punished like human beings, like a felon. So over here in America, sadly, they're still considered uh, properties. So if <clears throat> if someone kills your dog, you can't really bring them to court. So anyhow, <clears throat> you know, so yeah. Yeah, I've been blubbering a lot. <laughs> I'm actually waiting for Mark. <laughs> it's very icy and it's very cold. Um, I think my car is, even though my car is not buried in snow, but um, it's very icy. Mm -hmm. But I'm still going. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And thank you so much for staying with me with my blubbering. <laughs> Have a fantastic Valentine's Day, everybody. Even, look, whether you have someone or not, you know, try to enjoy this day. You know, go buy yourself chocolate or... Uh, um, we're, we're actually just going to, um, to go to an open house because I saw this fantastic home that I like. So I said, there's an open house and I would like to go see it. And, um, and after that, um, we go to, we're going to go to the supermarket, pick up a little bit of food. And then after that, um, who knows? <laughs> Home, <laughs> because you can't really go anywhere right now. Not that I want to go anywhere, but you know, that's the plan for now. So, but I, I would like, oh, I'm glad, Georgia. I'm glad. Um, so, anyhow, yeah, I, I would like to, uh, actually, what I would rather do right now is, like, I would love to paint, to paint colors in my office <laughs> or in, in my art. Uh, other, the kitchen actually I'm thinking of painting the kitchen there is the kitchen 
So anyhow, have a happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And I do hope, you know, be nice to each other. Be nice to yourself. Most importantly, be nice to yourself and each other. Take care of yourself and each other. So, <clears throat> so have a good afternoon from me. Probably good evening across the world and see you soon. Bye.